Story you're going to see only on Fox. Mob boss Joey Merlino heads to court. It's his first time in a federal courtroom since he and members of five other organized crime families were arrested. The list of charges is long racketeering, gambling, and loan sharking, just to name a few. And today, Merlino faced a judge in Manhattan. Our Dave Schratweiser was there and talked to a former colleague of Merlino's about what lies ahead for his old pal. The words not guilty rang out in a federal courthouse in Manhattan Tuesday morning as mob boss Joey Merlino stood before a judge here and proclaimed his innocence to yet another new round of racketeering charges. He just can't help himself. One of Merlino's former fellow wise guys who asked not to be identified told Fox 29 in an exclusive interview that it's clear federal prosecutors are dead set on putting the 54-year-old mob boss back behind bars. They're going to come after me with a vengeance. They're not going to stop. Federal prosecutors left court without comment. Merlino slipped in and out of court with defense attorney Ed Jacobs after his arrest three weeks ago as part of an FBI sweep that netted dozens of organized crime members and associates. The so-called East Coast Organized Crime Enterprise charged 46 defendants with everything from selling guns to health care fraud. Prosecutors say there are 15 separate wiretaps in this case and more than 800 hours of recorded audio and videotape. They have already started sending out discovery to defense attorneys. Merlino is free on $5 million bail posted by his wife and two close friends. He's confined to his Florida home and tracked by a GPS monitoring device. The muscular mob boss has been convicted twice before on federal charges. Another conviction could push the sentence, in this case, to 20 years. The government always opposes somebody's bail unless they have something else up their sleeve. So they want to see who he's talking to, who's going to go talk to him and just keep building evidence up against him. Merlino and his 45 co-defendants will be back here in federal court October 31st, Halloween Day, to discuss motions and possibly a trial date. In Manhattan, Dave Schratweiser, Fox 29 News.